Today, I'm gonna to show you a super easy way to beating ouch on hard mode with no monkey knowledge, meaning that if you have any monkey knowledge, definitely use it and it'll make this even easier than I'm gonna show you here. You do need Benjamin as your hero, but if you don't have Benjamin and you're playing in advanced maps and expert maps, what are you doing? You need Benjamin, he is the best. We're gonna start with the sub right here and we're gonna place him right there. Now, if you do have monkey knowledge, it's gonna make things cheaper. You're gonna have a free dart monkey. You're gonna have spikes at the bottom, mana shields, all that stuff, but just follow along with me and place things down quicker. If I place a sub, you already have your sub available, place it down. Now during round 10, we're gonna have enough for a Benjamin. We're gonna wanna make sure we place him during this round. So we get the extra cash at the end. So place him anywhere right up here is where I usually place him because then later on when these guys get advanced intel, they can kind of bounce off of him as well. And the next thing we're gonna do is grab twin guns on our bottom sub. And then we're gonna go up to our top one and grab twin guns for that one as well. It's crazy how much you don't appreciate monkey knowledge until you don't have it. This thing is so much more difficult without monkey knowledge as far as like, taking more time to buy things like there's no mana shield so you just lose a bunch of lives it's crazy so if you have it definitely use it now you're going to lose a good chunk of lives throughout these next couple rounds you can use your abilities if you want to i just didn't want to have to make this about ability time or nothing like that so i'm not going to and then you'll know that it's safe to do it with or without i'm going to grab airburst starts from my bottom sub and then airburst starts from my top sub i'm going to grab longer range and advanced intel on that top sub. We're then gonna take a dart monkey and we're gonna place him right here in between the two tracks. So when we upgrade him, he now sees the entire thing and these subs have a good amount of range. We're then gonna take another dart monkey and place him directly in the middle. He doesn't necessarily fit like the bottom one did. And we're gonna grab longer range enhanced eyesight again. And then we're gonna come down to this sub and grab long range and advanced intel. Now everybody's set and we're popping all these balloons. We're then gonna take a sniper and we're gonna place him right here, changing his targeting to strong. And he's gonna be our lead popper and just our like big balloon popper to help these subs kind of clean up at the end. So we're gonna grab fast firing and even faster firing and full metal jacket if you hadn't yet. A more riskier player at this point would wanna go for some farms right now, but we're just gonna make this so safe and easy. We're gonna grab triple guns for our bottom sub. And then we're gonna take an alchemist and place him right here next to this sub. Actually, let's put him all the way over here. We don't want him to be on this side at all. So just place his range right there. And then we're gonna grab larger potions, acidic mixture dip, berserker brew, stronger acid, and perishing potions. And if you haven't realized, Ben has actually been giving us our lives back, which is why I like using Ben as well. Not just for the money, but he makes our lives go back to 100 so we don't look like losers at the end. Now, this whole little setup here was just to get past round 36 because round 36 will shred you unless you have the alchemist just throwing juice at him. Now, as soon as you get your 1350, we're gonna be placing our farm down. Make sure it's right when you get that 1350. I'm gonna wait a little bit so our monies can be closer enough if you kind of mess that one up. And then we're gonna grab increased production and greater production. We're then gonna grab Easy Collect and Banana Salvage. Now this by far is not the most efficient way to farm a map like this or any game in general, but I'm just, again, trying to make this as super easy as possible. And if you do have monkey knowledge, you're probably getting this stuff quicker, which good for you. Get it as fast as you can. Let's grab a Marketplace for 3130. And I grabbed that on round 38. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our sniper is up to par for like the 40s when those ceramics come out, but we are gonna turn off auto start for 39. Now the reason why is because sometimes Ben will not put his Trojan on the Moab. I have no idea why, it's completely random, whatever. So what we're gonna do is as soon as we have this round out, we're gonna press that first button. Okay, that time he did use his ability. Sometimes he won't and you're kinda like, come on, what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> but as soon as we get 3240, we're gonna grab our deadly precision for our sniper. And then we're gonna get a little greedy here and place a farm right here. And as soon as you can, grabbing increased production and greater production. If you wanna leave auto start off so you can like grab the farm upgrades a little faster than me or just whenever, and you don't have to stress, I would recommend that as well. Grab Easy Collect and Banana Salvage, and then Marketplace as soon as you can. The next thing you wanna do as soon as you can, grab Armor Piercing Darts for 3240, just like that. And then we're gonna go over to our Dart Monkeys and we're gonna get the Crossbow because that gives them even more range to help out our subs a little bit more. Look at that range now. Now you can see the entire track pretty much. So we're gonna do the same exact thing to the top one as well. Next thing we're gonna do is grab Stronger Stimulant on our Alchemist. So now this guy's like totally juiced up, good to go. And then guess what? Even one more farm for 1350. And then as soon as we can, grab Increased Production, collect your bananas, grab Greater Production, collect your bananas, Easy Collect, Banana Salvage, and 3130 for that Marketplace. I got mine on 49. Now the next couple things we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab a Druid and place it right underneath our little Snipe right there, it's not like super pixel perfect or nothing. We're gonna grab Thorn Storm, Heart of Oak, Druid of the Jungle, and Hard Thorns. We're then gonna grab a village in range of all three of these guys. And we're gonna grab Grow Blocker 
radar scanner, bigger radius, and jungle drums. Now a little bit later, we kind of like slip on some camos. They slip through, that's why we got that camo there. And then our lead popping camo on 59 is not the strongest. So now that we have that, both of these guys can pop camo, lead, and we're good to go. Next thing I'm gonna do here is for $5,400, we're going to buy our main Moab on round 52. I'm trying to stall that one out so we can buy it on time. Now you can turn auto start on if you want, because we're just gonna be kind of chilling for a little bit, just waiting. Now another thing I'd like to do here is turn auto start off at 59. And this is just a safety precaution. But see how those leads kind of still made it through even though we have lead popping? Kind of crazy. But what we're going to do here is we have enough to sell this and have more than enough to buy our sub commander. Now, for whatever reason, that didn't work for you because you upgrade your farms or whatever too slowly. You can definitely sell this guy to give you that extra little boost. I'll even do it here just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And then now we're going to literally just shred through this big guy. No big deal. Look at that. Now the next thing we're going to do here on 82, or 62 sorry, was we're going to buy this for 8100, our MIB. And that's just because this guy can't pop leads without the alchemist, and the alchemist kind of sucks at that. So we're just going to make sure that no leads can get past us at all anymore. We're then going to buy jungle's bounty for our little druid over there, which is going to help us even more. And if you haven't guessed yet, we're going for the best tower in the game in a little bit. Now these two bottom farms sell for nearly $5,000, so I'm just going to round up and say $10,000. Well, Spirit of the Forest, the best tower in the game, is $37,800. So once we have $27,800, I'm going to sell both of these, and we're going to buy the coolest tower ever, Spirit of the Forest. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have him unlocked, I don't know why you wouldn't. He is the coolest tower in the game. But what you could also do is literally just place a ton of subs around, getting them down to the same one right here, armor piercing darts, just like this advanced until armor piercing darts. And you're going to have that sub commander boost. And obviously you want to place them in range of the village too. So you can get that village boost and you could just clear out this whole pool out with these subs and just destroy it. But Spear of the Fort's way cooler. AFK don't have to do nothing else after we're done. And what's cool about this guy is even without monkey knowledge, he makes $1,000 a around passively and there's one more thing i want to show you one more trick you can use in any of your games here what we're going to do is we're going to turn our auto start off on 79 and then we're going to slow the game down to no no fast mode now this team here will shred through 80 no problem literally with your eyes shut it's super easy but what we can do is simply hit play and the second ability super fast and guess what now it's a bfb already down to a moab boom ben's ability is awesome and if you want to see more Balloon CD6 tutorials, check out this video where I show you how to get the round 100 Apocalypse achievement, or check out this video where I show you how to get the round 100 Deflation achievement.